tube. Well, absolute mission getting in here this morning. As you can see, um, it's a bit of a wet, um, damp day. I've spent the last um, three hours getting in here by various means. Um, kind of in the middle of nowhere here, so um, yeah, I, uh, I, I was starting to think it's taking so long to get in here. So I've never been to this place before, so it's a new spot. Um, just sort of scoping it out, and I was starting to think that today's um, trip's just really going to be a scoping mission. But um, I'm here now, and um, now that I can see the river I was trying to get to, um, it's um, pretty irresistible not to um, set up the line and uh, cover a bit of water and uh, see what I can find. Um, I'm just actually going to use a nymphing rig today. I've just got a um, tied and a looped in a little yarn um, indicator there. Don't need much so long as it floats. A weighted nymph there, dark weighted nymph. Um, it's about a size 14 and we've got a, another size 14 uh, weighted, um, slightly weighted nymph. It's a little bit below that so um, that one's uh, got a little bit of flash on it, although there's not much uh, bright light around today either, so I guess uh, trout wouldn't be expecting something to flash anyway today. quiet back in there. The water's um, holding quite a bit of colour so um, yeah I guess it's going to be a little bit hard for the trout to see the flies but, um, so it might be a factor in it so it might have to really cover the water quite a bit when it's like this. Uh, little white flecks on the, um, the fins, which is cool. A nice little jack. Cool fish. Good start. Oh, putting too much strain on it then. Never mind. I think I lost, uh, lost both of my flies on that one. If you keep the strain on them and keep the fish up on top of the water, um, you can do that and get them in quick. If they go deep and you try and put the strain on them, they'll start to get downstream with a bit of current. Uh, be, um, nice. Just changing um, to a single nymph um, rig now. It's um it's not it's not too heavy the water through here so um, don't need too much weight on it. I think the fish are looking they're probably on the feed anyway with um, all the water coming down so I've just um, I've put this uh, size 14 sort of flashback slightly weighted um, Cadillac pheasant tail type nymph so it's going to keep covering the water and here yeah, I um I just lost a good rainbow then I was just putting way too much strain on it but I was trying to get it first. What I like to do um, with the fish is just get, it, get them in really fast to try and limit the stress on them and then uh, get them released quickly as well.
side in the pocket water, probably a place that people do come and fish in here that they probably uh, never think to target, but um, the fishing places are there for sure. Well, pretty glad that I got into this um, river. I um, had a look on um, Google, Google Maps and um, Google Earth and um, spent, spent a while trying to work out the best uh, or easiest way to get in here. Um, I found a bit of a route to get in so that was cool and I didn't know whether I was uh, going to get right down to the river or not but um, I did. So I'm going to head back out, it's, um, we've got about uh, three hours three hours ahead of me to get back out of here so yeah, it's quite a big mission. Um, a bit wet under foot, um, so a um, bit of a climb to get out of the river valley, it's going to be a bit muddy getting out. Um, once I get back a bit I'll be able to take my waves and boots off and get into something get off and um, sign off and um, please like and subscribe leave a comment down below um, really love to hear from you um, more content coming up soon and um, more wild places like this um, going to come back into this place definitely during the season sometime and um, try and uh, navigate up or down the river and um, really explore it properly cool catch up with you in the next episode Cheers, fish and leather.